Have you ever wanted to use arrows in Google Sheets, but didn't know what methods you could use or what methods you should use? So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through five different methods, how to insert them in your Google Sheet, what the various features or details of those options are, and then we're going to walk through actually putting those in. And so I'm going to start with emoji. I'm going to walk you through this part first, and then we're going to go down through the rest of the methods. So the source is how we get it into the Google Sheet. And so I'm just going to show you here. We can do insert menu and then we can go to emoji. And then we can select or search an emoji. And so for arrows, I can just type arrow. You can see we have a number of different options here. And so when I find the one that I want, I can go ahead and just click it and it will insert into the cell that I have selected. Now, one thing you may notice is this looks slightly different than it did in the interface when we had it pulled up. And so I'm going to select arrow again. And so it does look slightly different. And that's just because of the way the browser renders it. And so depending upon your browser, it will look slightly different. So let's go ahead and insert that up arrow and we'll call that good for emojis for now because right and now we do the same process. So let's go to our things here. So our first thing is that you can copy and paste. And so if I just copy and paste, I can copy and paste those emojis around in the Google Sheet. Now these are in cells, but we can't take it outside of the cell. We can't just drag it around outside of a cell. It has to be inside a single cell or multiple cells. You can always merge like that as well. So it can be in multiple cells, but it has to be merged or inside of a single cell. Now, an interesting thing is you can use these emojis. I can double click, select, copy, and I can use them in a custom number format. So I'm just gonna show you real basic, but I have a different video I'm gonna link on this to walk you through how to do this more effectively. But basically what we can do is we can put double quotes and then I can hit semicolon. And then if I hit semicolon again and again, you can see that based on what's in the cell, if it's a positive number, I can use that up arrow and then do something like zero. And so it would show that or your percentage if I'm doing a up and down percentages like that. And so I can set our up arrow. I can do a down arrow, et cetera, to show those indicators. So I'm not going to walk through any more of that now. I do have a different video that I'm going to link to on how to do that in more detail. So next, let's go to our drawing. And so this is a insert menu and we go insert and then drawing. And so in my drawing, there's actually many different options that you can do here. We are going to do the arrow and that's through the shape menu and then arrows and I can select an arrow. So for example, we're doing a left arrow. So I can select this, put it in here, kind of adjust how I want it to be size and stuff like that. Once I'm done, I can do this. And then there are more options here. You can select these little orange lines and adjust the size of that head, basically of your arrow the width of the body of the arrow and whenever you get to where you like it you can leave that shape alone and then we can go over here and we can set a border or we can remove the border and we can also set the color of the arrow so whether you want a solid you can add your own just like that or you can come back here and do a gradient and again you can do custom or you can select one and this just gives you some cool little options on multicolored arrows just like that so once you're done, you can click save and close. And then it shows up. We can click on it and we can resize just like that. And there is our drawing. So one thing you'll notice is we talk about in cell and outside of cell. This one I'm dragging around and it doesn't matter about the cells. And so this one is outside of our cells or you could say floating over the sheet. And that'll make more sense when we go to our images here in a second. Now, one thing is you can't directly copy and paste it. So if I try to copy and paste it, it won't let me do it. But I will show you a quick workaround on how to do that is you go back to edit and then I'm going to select and copy this, save and close and then insert a new drawing and then paste. And there's my drawing. And so I could adjust this, for example, click save and close. And there's my pasted one. So I could do the same drawing. I don't have to modify it, but that's how you would have to copy and paste a drawing. So you can't do it directly. You have to go back into the edit menu and then copy it and create a new drawing. So that's how that works. And then let's go to image. 
So images are kind of cool because they can both be inside a cell or outside a cell, which means you can do some cool things. So the drawing is only outside, but if we go to this image, if we go to the insert menu and image, you'll see right away we have two options. So we can insert the image in cell or over cells. Now you aren't bound to whatever one you pick here, you can switch it later. And so we're just gonna start with in cell for now. And then here are the different sources that you can use for that image. So upload from your computer, webcam, a link that you insert from your photos, drive, or even Google images. So I'm gonna go ahead and just search arrow icon here. And one thing to note, I'm gonna show you what happens here, is you might try to select one and insert it, and then you get this error. And so what this means is either the image is in the wrong format, or maybe it's too large. And so if that happens, you will just have to find another one, or potentially you could go search that one manually in Google Images, download it, and then edit it appropriately, either by converting it to the right format, or it should be like a JPEG or a PNG, or you can also change the size if it's too big. But here's one that will work, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert this one just to show you what that looks like. Now, copy and paste. I can copy this and paste it just like that, so that's pretty cool. And you'll notice right now it is in the cell. I can't just click and drag it around because it's bound to the cell. So I can pull out of the cell if I right click and I go to image and then put image over cells. And then it shows up like this. So I will have to resize it so we can even see it. So give me a second here. So interesting thing with the image versus the drawing is that I can actually copy and paste my image. So I just copy and pasted just like that. So that's kind of cool how you can do that. But then I want to show you real quick, you can actually put it back into the cell. If you click on the cell, click on the image, hit this three dots in the upper right, and then put image in selected cell. Um, otherwise you have other options here as well, but we're going to go ahead and put it back in the selected cell just like that. And that's how that works. So you can't use this in a number format, but other than that, you can use it outside a cell like we demoed inside a cell or even copy and paste it. Now next, let's go to HTML symbol. And I have two versions of this because there's two ways to use this. And so one is kind of like an emoji where you can copy and paste it. And I'll show you that here in a few moments. But you can also use the character formula and use the symbol number. And so I have this W3 schools with a bunch of different codes. And so the one we're looking for is this basically HTML symbol code in decimal format, just like that. And so if we scroll down, we can find whatever one we want to use. I'm just going to pull it down. I want to go to some heavy arrows there. Here we go. Um, I wanted to show using some of these little bit heavier arrows. And so this is the code that we want here. So I'm just going to copy that and I can come back over here. And then in this cell, I'm going to use this formula, C-H-A-R, and then paste that number. And then I'm gonna get rid of these extra spaces real quick here, just like that. All right, and then there we go. So the interesting thing here is we can even do things like the color directly from here, so that's kind of cool. And then you can set the size using the font size here. So again, another cool little trivia there. So then with this, if we want left, up, right, down, so I'm just going to drag this over. And what often happens, if you look here, if you go to the next number, it's the different version of that one. And so if you just figure out where you're at, you come through and do three, we can do four, and we can do five, and now we have all those. So this one's a little interesting because it is a formula. And so we can copy and paste it, but it's copy and pasting that formula. So it's just something to keep in mind is it may mess you up. But one thing you can do is you can actually convert this formula. So if I double click, you can see it's a formula here, not a image. I can copy this and then I can do paste values only. And if I double click now, it's actually that symbol, not the formula. And so it's kind of weird how that works, but maybe you'll be able to use that effectively in your project. Now you can understand how that works. Now, one thing with this formula, it means you can add it into things. And so we could say something like look left ampersand and then bring that in just like that. And this one's probably a little bit goofy the way we have it there, but we could put this on the other side, for example. 
ampersand and put that in there. So you can do some cool things like that with adding those symbols and text together. And the way you do that is using that ampersand, or you can even add numbers from your sheet, stuff like that. So that's how that works with the formula. Now for the symbol, you don't bring in the formula then, you bring in the actual thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then double click and paste it. And so it's kind of like copying and pasting this character formula here and pasting its values, but you can just shortcut that if you don't need the formula and just go search HTML symbols and then do whatever one you want. So I could just come in here and grab this one, paste it just like that and go on my right way. Just like emojis, you can use these symbols inside custom number formats. You cannot, however, use them outside of a cell because it is cell bound. And then of course you can do in cell and copy and paste. All right, so that is it for today's videos on how to add and use arrows in Google Sheets. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.